In this episode of Dud to Stud, we are making the biggest transformation for our Jaguar XK8 yet. We're going to fix the front end and we're going to vinyl wrap parts of this car. So let's get right into replacing some of the front end damage. Now Case just said replacing the damage and to some extent we are. So we have a new bumper cover here. Well, I say new loosely because it's very much a pre-owned bumper cover, as you can see based on the scuffs on the underside, but it's a heck of a lot better than what we have on this car now. Let's check this out. Now, as a reminder, this car was driven onto a boulder, not into a boulder, but rather on top of the boulder. And as you can see, it did quite the number to this front bumper cover. We've got these big scuffs here. We've got this uh, chicken wire grill, which will be going away. We've got a new one of those coming in here shortly, but case is pretty bad. Yeah, it's pretty rough. I mean, this is to the point where you would have to do a lot of body work to even try and improve this. And I just, I don't even think that it would ever be perfect because it's pretty gouged. This, on the other hand, has stone chips, has imperfections. Generally, they don't take bumper covers off of cars because of how nice of condition <laughs> they're in. But this was the much cheaper alternative to getting something repainted. So it's the right color, it'll fit, and it'll look better. Do you remember how much this was? Uh, I think the bumper itself was about four or 500 bucks. Yep, and then the shipping was another couple hundred, so we're in this pretty pretty good money. Um, and you can see it came off of an O2, which is good because that's the same year as our Jaguar. There was a little facelift there in the, uh, in the uh, kind of the lineup, so we have the right bumper cover, hopefully, and we're gonna try to see how bad the damage is underneath this one. Tommy, what is going on with our toolkit? <laughs> it's the this worst toolkit I've ever seen. It's a disaster. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Where are we? Where's our socket at? This yeah, what, we only have two of the three. This is what happens when you have 12 people using a toolkit from eight years ago. Um, we, got, we got better tools, they're just not here. Well, let me clarify, we have slightly better tools, they're just not here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Now, Toby, keeping to tradition, um, he, 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 Toby's our German car mechanic, and he was traded this Jaguar essentially when the guy crashed it because he didn't know what to do with it. And the front end was pretty mangled, including the little teeth, so he went with the XKR style grill, but in reality... Sort of. Yeah, sort of an XKR style grill. Yeah, in reality it's a bit of fencing. So I'm excited to see how bad the damage is, is behind the fencing. It's gonna be the real deal when it's done. It's um, fencing, I think. It looks like fencing. Oh, look at that. Spray painted fencing. No, oh, yeah, it's not even new. Somebody tell Tommy to get a real impact. Look at that little thing. It's a Ryobi. It's small. It's not small, you're small. See, his impact is so small, he's using the tire iron to crack his lugs because he doesn't Bro, trust his impact. No impact could crack these lugs. All right, so we got the car up on jack stands. Now we're gonna take out the inner fender liner so we can get to the bolts that hold the bumper in. And then uh, we got three on each side, and then I think like seven or eight on the hood line. And then um, a couple connectors, and hopefully that'll, that'll do the trick. Clamshell hoods, Sammy. I hate them. Tommy, you want Twix? No, that's like the worst candy. What are you talking about? <laughs> Could you choose a worse candy out of that bowl of candy? Twix. Is right. this the last one? Yeah, we've got this one last little humdinger dude in here. I think it looks good like this. It certainly doesn't look any worse. Well, we got this one last little center of plastic clip holding it all in. This is the official Jaguar technique, actually. Did you know that? <laughs> yeah, this is the OEM bumper removal instruction. Yeah! Out. I figured out this trick from the other side. See, the, the key to doing work on camera is have case do the majority and then come in for the satisfying jobs. Job done. Nice. I did it all. <laughs> all right, Case, came out really good, actually. Look at that. Yeah, it does look pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, it's not perfect. I mean, certainly there are some rock chips and some scrapes in this, but we got the final touch going on here. Yes, sir. 
Wow. Jaguar. Four liter. Four litra. We should have got the XKR badge. Just like that, we have a fresh-ish bumper cover in place, and it looks a lot better than the one that came off. Now, we have also on the way a mesh grill for this car, and very soon, next up, we're having a detailer come make this look a little bit less ragged out, clean up the paint a little bit before Shane comes and does some vinyl wrapping on this car. So, lots more coming up. Now that is indeed a transformation from old and tired to young and frisky. Best way I could describe this is definitely frisky. So we just had uh, quick mobile detailing here, uh, doing the uh, detailing on our 2002 Jaguar XK8, which as you know, we're trying to make it a stud again. So originally this started out, I think, as a really cool car. I love the lines down the center. Uh, just really beautiful lines. But over the years, it's of course turned into a little bit of a country club cruiser. You know what I'm talking about, right? If you recall, Jaguar built some of the best sports cars ever. I'm talking about the D-Type. I'm talking about the E-Type, even the modern F-Type. Uh, but this, well, this is something else. And the, first video, what we did was we, let me show you, come on with me. We removed three resonators. Uh, there's one, there's two, and then there's a third one right here. Uh, and made that sound raspy and mean and, well, sporty. And now, in the second episode, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually put some life back in this car. Uh, and now we've got a really great detailing on the Jaguar, so we're ready for the next stage, which is I think gonna be the one that's really gonna make this thing pop. We're gonna put a racing stripe right here. We're gonna make this, this, and the most important part, this red. So literally we're gonna put lipstick on the Jaguar uh, and the racing stripe is gonna go all the way to the back. On the side we're gonna do a white stripe uh, that'll say TFL uh, and then we'll have taken care of the appearance. With the vinyl wrap complete thanks to the careful work of our good friend Shane, it is now time to reveal how our XK8 turned out. So this is my first time seeing the Jaguar in person since we've done the wrap and the detail and it looks like the team put on a pretty cool R-style mesh front grill. Guys, this thing turned out really, really cool. And all of the cosmetic mods were done for right around $1,200 or $1,300. That includes the new nose cone, the grill, the, uh, the, the wrap. I mean, it really is a huge transformation for a small amount of money. Now, I know 
It's probably not gonna be up to everyone's taste, but there's definitely a theme of livery, right? Like this lipstick on the front, very similar to a lot of race cars and British uh, high performance vehicles. We got the center stripe down the uh, middle. We've got the little TFL graphic back here where you might find a Union Jack. Overall, I think this thing turned out really cool. Sounds really good. Sure, it's still pretty slow. And we're not gonna do the suspension just yet because I think we're gonna need a little bit of ground clearance for a project we have in mind with this car. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. As always, this has been Tommy and the whole team. We'll see you in the next video.